Okay, so we only have two weeks left of September. Is that wild or what? Um, what is happening this week is on Friday, we're going to have crazy hat day. We're also going to have a big game, as many people as can be involved, of Duck Duck Goose at lunch. Mr. Frazier is going to facilitate it with me, and then I heard Mr. Frazier has lots of games. So I'm hoping that I can help Mr. Frazier so that we get to play games at lunch on Fridays. Um, and then the next week on the 26th, it's our last day of the week. Um, it's a Thursday because you guys are lucky. There's no school on Friday. There's advisory training. But on Thursday, we're going to do a tag game to celebrate the end of September. We're looking at October. And in October, the first Thursday, we will be splitting you all up into small advisory groups. It'll be the first time that you're in small advisory groups. That's what our training for is on the 27th. So we are getting ready for that and looking forward to that. And you'll get to find out who you you're assigned to before the Thursday. And then as we look at October, there is a parent night for math, um, for the POWs, problem of the weeks. And then there's also a dance. And the one thing I want to say about the dance is, um, you can like ask people to the dance, I guess, but I don't think that's the purpose of the dance. The dance, you just like almost every single person in the school, I think it's about like 30 people that do not come to a dance out of like 230 um but people just come eat a lot of snacks run around play games like tag and maybe sing maybe dance um that's what you can expect for dances but we'll get more information um and the 31st is you, you can wear costumes and guess what I said it was pajama day last week, but there is actually no school on Friday, November 1st. So there, these are the big, big things to look forward to, including the Friday games. I just want to say thank you to everyone. You guys are doing such a good job with cell phones, keeping them in your backpacks and being really careful about that. Thank you to those students who have Apple Watches and are making that adjustment to keep your Apple Watches in the backpack, all those devices. And then just I do, one more time, I just want to say the boundaries on campus. We can't enter and exit through the grass, glass doors by the rec center and then sports or after school programs that leave after 4 30 do go through the glass doors because the office is closed we only use the north stairwell by the student restroom um, so don't take the walk in the middle of the hall um, and then we can't sit on the back stoop the church's property during um, PE break or lunch and then no public displays of affection if you are kissing we will say no you cannot do that um, and other things like that fast food deliveries you have to eat in the office um, because our students turn into like seagulls when fast food comes onto campus and thank you to this corner group I talked to a bunch of sixth grade gentlemen who were wonderful to pick up after themselves so thank you all for cleaning up after yourselves um, and then I just want to remind everyone no name calling or play fighting not okay even if you say as friends it's all okay together um, we are going to process the harm that is done even if we don't intend it to be done um, when that kind of thing happens at what we call lunch reflection and then any physical harm you would not be able to be in class break or lunch until that harm is resolved Friday this Friday is crazy hat day or crazy hair day I'm looking forward to what's happening in the newsletter we're sending out a request for families to have you fill out a form in case you ever stay on campus on Thursday after school Ms. Monica and Miss Natalie will walk students over to the library but we need your permission so we're getting a form at the beginning of the week we have nine clubs and you can continue to turn in clubs the swifty club has been added to the schedule so i hope that you all know that you can just go to these clubs just participate in these clubs i stopped by the anime club and they were watching anime and it was awesome and it was a lot of people you can still join performing arts there are so many people that are doing that we have so many athletes at the school also our very first game is on Monday, September 23rd. In order to go to a game, IVA students do need to have a chaperone. And the game starts at 4.30. So you have a, a little bit of time to go home and then come back with a parent. Um, next, on, on Monday, it'll be at Stevens Middle School. Okay, annual family fund update. As of Tuesday, when I'm checking this, 26 more families have donated. Um, right now, on Tuesday, it looks like sixth graders will be getting Otter Pops again um, on Friday at the end of the day. Um, but seventh graders, you're so very close. So this all could change. And I just want to celebrate that a third of the school has already donated. And I want to say thank you to you and your families. Check with your family to see if you've donated. 
Um, I'm going to do the Fox raffle right now, but I do want to say that I already did one, and the very first winner is Xylan, got a little Fox, um, and I will pause it and do the rest. Okay, I'm back, and here are the... Um, Here's the results. The little foxes. Xylan, you already know that you're a winner. Xylan won. And then Dylan, you have another one. And then Phoenix, you have another one. And then, what's next? Lila, you have another one. We have one more little one. Brendan, you won another one. And for the big fox, it is Langston. So thank you to all of you students. I will be delivering these amazing foxes to you. Thank you to your families. Um, and I really look forward to more donations and Otter Pops. Um, the final week of donations, you get a full on live expensive popsicle instead of the Otter Pops. So I'm looking forward to it. Ask your family if you've donated and have a really wonderful day. Bye.